Welcome to the lesson on types of chemical reactions. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to explain different chemical reactions like combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. Explain oxidation and reduction reactions. Explain corrosion and rancidity in our everyday life. We see many examples of chemical reactions. Rusting of iron nails is our oxidation reaction while digestion of food is a decomposition reaction because food is broken down into simpler substances. Different types of chemical reactions are combination reactions, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, double displacement reaction and oxidation reduction or redox reactions. Combination reaction is a reaction in which two or more substances combine to form a new single substance. The general form of the combination reaction is that when A reacts with B, product AB is formed. A and B can be an element or compound. When coal is burnt, then the carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. This type of reaction is called as a combination reaction. Calcium oxide or quick lime reacts vigorously with water to produce slicked lime or calcium hydroxide, releasing a large amount of heat. In this reaction, calcium oxide and water combine to form a single product calcium hydroxide. Decomposition reaction is a reaction in which a single substance decomposes to give two or more substances. It is the opposite of combination reaction. The general form of the reaction is that when a substance AB decomposes, it breaks into substance A and B. Decomposition reaction can occur because of heat, electricity or light energy. Decomposition of a substance due to the application of heat is called thermal decomposition. Ferrous sulfate crystal loses water when heated and the color of the crystal changes. It then decomposes to ferric oxide, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide on heating is an important decomposition reaction. Decomposition of a substance due to the application of electricity is called electrolysis. For example, when electric current is passed through acidified water, it decomposes to give hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Decomposition of a substance due to action of light energy is called photolysis. For example, when white silver chloride is kept under the sun, it turns grey. This is due to the decomposition of silver chloride into silver and chloride by light. When an element displaces another element from its compound, a displacement reaction occurs. The general form of the reaction is written as A displaces B in compound BC to form compound AC. For example, when iron nails are dipped in copper sulfate solution, then the iron nails become brownish in color and the blue color of the copper sulfate solution fades away. In this reaction, iron has displaced or removed another element, copper, from copper sulfate solution. Another example is the reaction of zinc with copper sulfate in which zinc displaces copper to form zinc sulfate. A double displacement reaction is a reaction in which ions are exchanged between the reactants. The general form of the double displacement reaction is AB and CD which undergoes double displacement to form AD and CB. A classic example is sodium sulfate reacting with barium chloride to form barium sulfate and sodium chloride. In this reaction, ions are exchanged between the reactants. 
Barium sulfate formed in this reaction is a white substance which is insoluble in water. This insoluble substance formed is known as precipitate. Any reaction that produces a precipitate is called a precipitation reaction. Oxidation is a reaction involving gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen from the substance. The surface of copper powder becomes coated with black copper oxide. This black substance is formed because oxygen is added to copper and copper oxide is formed. Since copper gains oxygen during this reaction, it is said to be oxidized. If hydrogen gas is passed over heated copper oxide, the black coating on the surface turns brown as the reverse reaction takes place. If a substance loses oxygen during a reaction, it is said to be reduced. Reduction is a reaction involving addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen from a substance. Redox reactions are reactions involving both oxidation and reduction simultaneously. Here, A gets reduced while B gets oxidized. For example, copper oxide is losing oxygen and is being reduced. The hydrogen is gaining oxygen and is being oxidized. In a redox reaction, one reactant gets oxidized while the other gets reduced. This is another example of redox reaction in which carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide and zinc oxide is reduced to zinc. Iron articles are shining when new but get coated with a reddish brown powder when left for some time. This process is called rusting of iron. The iron is attacked by substances like moisture, air, acids, etc and is said to corrode and this process is called corrosion. The black coating on silver and the green coating on copper are other examples of corrosion. Rancidity is a condition produced when fats and oils are oxidized and their smell and taste become unpleasant. Rancidity can be prevented by adding antioxidants to foods containing fats and oils. To prevent rancidity, packaged foods like chips are packed in nitrogen gas. Chips bags are flushed with nitrogen gas prior to packaging. At the end of the lesson, we are able to explain different chemical reactions like combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. Explain oxidation and reduction reactions. Explain corrosion and rancidity. Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904